Frankenstein by Mary Shelley Chapter 4 Killing William Synopsis My dearest Victor, Henry told us that you are feeling much better now, and we are very pleased to hear it. Please visit us as soon as you are well. Come back to your home and your friends who love you dearly. Your father is well, but he is worried about your health. Your brother Ernest is 16 now, and he wants to join the Swiss Army, but your father wants him to continue with his studies. Ernest would rather spend his time outdoors, climbing hills or rowing. He doesn't like books like you do. Not much has changed since you left, except that Justine, the servant girl, went away for a while and has now returned to us. She left shortly after you did to take care of her sick mother. Sadly, her mother died at the beginning of winter and Justine decided to come back to us. She's such a lovely girl, Victor, so clever and so gentle. I must tell you how darling little William is doing. I wish you could see him. He's tall for his age and he has sweet laughing blue eyes, dark eyelashes and curly hair. He's a wonderful child. Please write to us, Victor. We want to hear from you. We miss you terribly. Please thank Henry for his kindness and his many letters. Take care of yourself and please write. Elizabeth Lavenza Victor wrote to Elizabeth immediately as he didn't want his family to worry about him. Two weeks later, Victor started to feel much better and he was finally able to walk around. Henry had removed all the laboratory equipment from Victor's apartment and Victor was grateful to him as he didn't want to be reminded of the monster he had created. Victor decided to turn his back on science and he spent the next few months studying oriental languages with Henry Clerval. He planned to return to Geneva at the end of autumn but heavy snow forced him to delay his trip until spring. One afternoon in May after a pleasant walk in the countryside, he came home to find the following letter from his father. My dear Victor, I'm sure that you're looking forward to your trip and that you're expecting to return to a happy home. Sadly, that won't be the case. I have terrible news, Victor. I wish that I could prepare you for what I'm about to tell you, but I can't. William is dead. That sweet, gentle child whose smile warmed my heart has been murdered. This is what happened. Last Thursday, Elizabeth, your two brothers and I went for a walk at Plain Palais. It was a warm evening and we stayed out quite late. William and Ernest went off to play and Elizabeth and I waited for them. A short while later, Ernest came back and asked us if we'd seen William. He'd been looking for him for some time, and he couldn't find him anywhere. We searched for William until the early hours of the morning, and at five o'clock, I discovered my little boy. He had been strangled. When Elizabeth saw him, she started crying uncontrollably and told me that she felt responsible for William's death. She had given him a valuable locket with a picture of your mother in it. The locket was gone when we discovered the body, and we think that the murderer killed William for it. Elizabeth cries constantly and blames herself. Only you can console her. Hurry home, Victor. We all need you now. Your affectionate father, Alphonse Frankenstein. After Victor had received a letter from his father telling him about his brother's death, he decided to go immediately to Geneva. By the time he reached there, 
the city gates were closed. So he decided to go to the spot where William had been murdered. There he saw the monster. He chased him, but he ran into the woods and disappeared. Questions and answers. Who was Justine? Where did she go? She was the servant girl. She went away for a while to take care of her sick mother. When her mother died, she decided to go back to the Frankensteins. She was such a lovely girl, so clever and so gentle. Why did Elizabeth feel responsible for William's death? She had given him a valuable locket with a picture of his mother in it. The locket was gone when they discovered his body, and it was thought the murderer killed William for it. How did Victor know it was the creature that killed William? After Victor had received a letter from his father telling him about his brother's death, he decided to go immediately to Geneva. By the time he reached there, the city gates were closed, so he decided to go to the spot where William had been murdered. There he saw the monster. He chased him, but he ran into the woods and disappeared. Thanks for watching.